one, something I get asked a lot and I notice a few people commenting on is how I don't use a viewfinder while taking photos. Sometimes people are just asking why and sometimes the comments like to get a little more passionate and tell me that I'm wrong for shooting in this way. But shooting with the LCD has its benefits over shooting with a viewfinder sometimes. So today I'm going to be sharing some of those reasons and I think some of them might surprise you. I also want to say a huge thank you to Capture One for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited to let you know more about them a little bit later on. So if you've been on my channel before and seen my behind the scene videos, you might have noticed that I use the LCD or the screen of my camera to shoot with the majority of the time instead of using a viewfinder. I do this the most when I'm shooting on mirrorless cameras. Back when I used to use my Canon 5D Mark IV, which is a DSLR, I always used the viewfinder and very, very rarely use the LCD to shoot with. If you already know this, you can skip ahead a few seconds, but there are three main things that I'm going to be referencing throughout today's video. Firstly, we have the EVF, which stands for Electronic Viewfinder, and you'll find these on mirrorless cameras. If you're a DSLR user who hasn't used a mirrorless camera before, you might not know this, but as you change your shutter speed, you can see the exposure changing inside the EVF. So technically, you're looking at your final image as you shoot. The most common viewfinder before mirrorless came around was the OVF, which stands for optical viewfinder. This kind of viewfinder is usually found on SLRs and DSLRs. With an optical viewfinder, you can't see your exposure or your white balance at all as you are looking optically in your viewfinder at the image your lens sees via a mirror in your camera. You can only see the framing and the focus of the photos that you're taking. So finally, we have the LCD, which is the screen on the back of the camera, and you'll find these on both DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. So to start off with, I'm not anti-viewfinder in any way. I do still use a viewfinder when using mirrorless cameras. One of the main reasons I'll use a viewfinder to shoot with is when I'm out on location. Sometimes glary, overcast weather, or really bright sun can cause distracting reflections on the LCD that make it super hard to see. So easy, I'll switch over to the viewfinder so I can actually see what I'm taking photos of. Sometimes when I wanna zone in or focus on what I'm doing, I'll decide to switch to the viewfinder. I'll also use the viewfinder a fair amount at a photo shoot to be able to look at my images and zoom in to see sharpness and exposure. It's much easier doing this when it's dark, such as looking inside the viewfinder versus seeing details on the LCD out in bright lighting. Actually, when I used to use a DSLR, I had a little lupe that I would take with me on location. After taking a couple of test photos, I would use the lupe to be able to properly see my photos on the back of the screen. Now I don't need this device anymore, I can just use the EVF. One of the last reasons I can think of that makes me want to use my viewfinder is for extra stability when I'm using long lenses or in low light. In this case, I'm not actually using the very popular nose ivers where you have an extra point of contact on your nose slash face for more stability with your camera. I personally try not to let my camera touch my face too much. My stability comes from just having my arms closer to my body. In saying that, the majority of the photo shoots I do are with people in bright sunlight. I tend to use a faster shutter speed when photographing portraits, fashion, and weddings as I love capturing movement. So in order to be able to freeze that, I need to use a fast shutter speed. So using the viewfinder for extra stability isn't normally needed for the type of work that I do. One of the main reasons I prefer using the LCD is to know where my surroundings are. For my portraits and fashion photo shoots, I am usually out on location. I'm also a wedding photographer, and as you can imagine, there are always a lot of people around, objects, chairs, tables, decorations. And in order for me to be able to capture lots of the moments that are happening, I'm also physically moving around a lot. If I have my head stuck in the viewfinder, I can't really see anything around me. So shooting with the LCD means I can quickly glance around while walking to make sure I don't trip or knock into anyone. I also feel like I have better situational awareness of the moments that are happening when I'm using an LCD so I can capture more of those moments. If you do a lot of on-location work like me, maybe you do wedding photography or you like to take your camera with you while traveling, then I want to let you know more about the sponsor of today's video, Capture One, as their desktop photo editing software is also available on the iPad to be able to edit on the go. You can use Capture One on iPad to plug your camera directly into your iPad to be able to import images and give them a star or color rating. This is so handy if you like sharing a quick sneak peek of your photos to your wedding clients the following day 
or you can edit your photos while traveling and send them directly to your social media. If you prefer being away from your desk, you can also use the Capture One iPad app by synchronizing with the desktop app. I really like that they've ported the image processing of the desktop app with no compromises to the iPad. So you can have the full power of raw editing, whether you are manually editing a photo or using styles on the iPad for quick edits. I'll leave a link in the description for Capture One on iPad if you wanna check it out. This next reason is the absolute main reason that I love shooting with the LCD and I feel like it has made an actual impact to my quality of work. This is especially true for wedding photography where I'm usually taking photos of totally normal people who have never been in front of the camera before. Using the LCD makes it easier for me to communicate with my subjects and help them to relax. I noticed a huge difference in the confidence of my clients when I switched from DSLR and using a viewfinder 100% of the time versus mirrorless and using the LCD the majority of the time. One of the main reasons for this is because they can see my face, so the photo shoot feels a lot more natural to them. Since I work a lot with people doing portraits and fashion, it's also easier to give direction and continue shooting at the same time. This goes with my last point where it makes it easier to capture genuine emotions and reactions to things during weddings. With portrait and fashion photography, it means I don't lose the flow of a photo shoot when giving direction. So I thought I would give you an example of how I shoot with and without the viewfinder on a wedding day. So during bride and groom prep, I will normally shoot with the LCD. The mornings can be a little awkward for some people as it's usually the first time I'm taking photos of them. So I find that it makes them feel more relaxed with my camera. Bride and groom prep can also be a little crazy with lots of people around and things happening and things all over the room. So I also wanna have situational awareness to see where I'm going. Next we'll usually head to the ceremony and since I'm not taking any one-on-one -on -one portraits of anyone, not giving anyone directions since I'm only documenting what's happening, I will switch over to using my viewfinder the majority of the time. Afterwards, we'll usually have some time to do group portraits and mingling shots and here again, I'll switch between my LCD and viewfinder just depending how busy the location is. During the bridal portraits, I'll be using my LCD. This is, as I mentioned, where it's the most beneficial since I'm taking one-on-one -on -one portraits. I want my clients to be comfortable, I want to be able to move around as much as possible, and I wanna keep the flow of the photos going while giving them direction or talking to them. Finally, for the reception, I'll usually use a mixture. I'll use the viewfinder for mingling photos and formalities and the LCD for the dance floor images as again, it can get super busy there. There are a few other quick reasons I like to use my LCD. During fashion photo shoots, models are sometimes a little taller than me, so it's more flattering to shoot from their height, which means the camera is slightly above my eye line. It also helps me keep better posture as I find it's easier to keep my back and neck straight. A concern I've seen is that using the LCD drains your camera battery faster because it's a larger screen. It depends on the camera you're using, but generally there's not much of a difference in battery life, and if there is, it's typically in favor of the LCD. During a fashion or portrait photo shoot, I like having the rest of the team be able to see the photos that I'm taking over my shoulder. The same during weddings, it's so fun when the bridal party are looking at the back of my screen and complimenting the bride and groom, which generally leads to some genuine moments that I get to capture of them reacting to that. The last point I have might sound vain, but I don't like having one of my eyes squinted for long periods of time. Peak season of wedding photography is spring and summer and I'll be shooting anywhere between 8 to 14 hours with most of those hours spent in the sun. And sun damage is definitely something us on location photographers need to be thinking about. I also used to get the most ridiculous tan lines. Only half of my forehead was tan as I'd have my camera up here in front of my face. And I also got these white triangles on my arms from constantly having them bent to keep the camera against my face. So when I open my arm, you just see the, these white triangles. <laughs> Now, by using mostly the LCD and the EVF sparingly, I avoid all of that. I really hope today's video has given you some ideas and maybe made you think about trying to shoot in a different way. I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you prefer using a viewfinder or the LCD and why, like did I miss out on any reasons in today's video? And also at the end of the day, please remember to shoot in whatever way feels comfortable to you. As long as you're happy or your client is happy with the results, that is all that matters. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.